What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and don't click away. This isn't a Don Dozo video. I'm here today bringing you a Palmot team. Palmot is the feature of this team, it is the feature of this video, and is a really cool mod. Palmot with its signature move Double Shock, which is like a 130 power physical electric move with 100 accuracy. Beautiful. But when you use it, you lose your electric typing, and you can't use it after you lose your electric typing. However, Terra Electric gets around this. It gives it a power up so that you have the double stab instead of the regular stab. And you, it says it burns up your electric typing, but you can't actually overwrite Terra. So you stay electric typing and you get to spam double shock. It also has some great support. It has fake out, which is great for this team because the idea behind this Dondozo team is disrupt with either Tailwind Talon and Will-O-Wisp on Talonflame or fake out on Palmot and hit things with Dragonite or Golden Go before you bring Dondozo in. Or maybe when you don't even bring Dondozo in. Uh, and then revive something if you get the chance to. You can either revive Dragonite, Golden Go. You can even revive Dondozo for a second round of Commander Boosts. It's crazy. But anyways, I hope Palmot can do well today. Let's give him a shot. Here we are with a rain team? It's got a Pelipper on it, but I don't see anything else that takes advantage of rain. They also have Sableye, Sylveon, Farigarath, Annihilate, and Blood Moon or Saluna. The threats to Dondozo include Will-O-Wisp from Sableye, Final Gambit from Annihilate. Not too threatened by Pelipper. Sylveon and Ursaluna can both do big damage. And I guess a Terra Water Annihilate could take some hits and like get Rage Fist stacked up. That's a threat. They're probably going to want to set Trick Room. But it'll be hard to set Trick Room in front of a Golden Go. Yeah, they don't have much that works on Golden Go here. So I think Talonflame, Golden Go, Dondozo, Tatsugiri is the way to play this one. I don't think Palmot does anything. They've got two Ghosts and a Farigarath to block Fake Out. I guess elect uh, Electro Punch Mabob thing. Double Shock? Double Shock's fine. Uh, do I want Talonflame, really? Actually, hopefully I get this in in time. I will bring Palmot with Golden Go. Dondozo Tatsugiri in the back. Yeah, because the only thing I was worried about was, like, Scarf, Final Gambit, Annihilate. But, like, that doesn't even hit Golden Go. Sableye card, cool. Respect on Sableye. I guess, like, a Helping Hand Shadow Claw or something could be... Oh, yeah, they didn't even... Okay. This is excellent. I should be able to get a Terra Steel, make it... Oh... They probably have Wide Guard. They're gonna get their Trick Room up. Maybe not. Maybe if I Thunderbolt? And Terra Electric Double Shock. That's what that move's called. I wonder if that Double Up can take Farigarath. I could also try to trick the Farigarath. But that doesn't get me much. Thunderbolt. Terra Double Shock. I'm committing. I am committing to this play. I believe in Palmot here. I believe. Palmot will carry us to victory. And I'm also expecting a wide guard. If they don't wide guard, they could get some serious damage off here with Pelipper. Okay, it is wide guard. We at least got that right. If we don't take the KO, I guess we at least didn't give them too much momentum. But if we get this, we have so much momentum. Come on, Palmot. Oh, huge damage. No Citrus. No Citrus. It's gone. Get out of here, Farigraph. No trick room for you. Let's go, Palmot. Woo! All right, that is huge. That is absolutely enormous. And now they've got Sylveon. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing to you. I guess it could be bait and they could bring in Ursaluna, but that could happen on either slot. 
In fact, Golden Go isn't actually scared of Sylveon. So I could double shock the Sylveon, sure, but then I think I want a Thunderbolt Pelipper. Yeah, I think that works. Just rotate one of my targets, just in case something crazy happens, like a Terra Ground. Well, Sylveon is terrestrializing. But it's into Fairy. That doesn't... Uh, that doesn't really make a difference. Double Shock will do the same damage. Golden Go will take more damage from your Fairy move, if you get to go. But after what I did to Ferrigoraph? Oh, Sylveon 8. Okay. Pretty bulky Sylveon, then. Thunderbolt into Pelipper, is that Sash? It is Sash. Okay. We didn't take a KO, but we did so much damage. Don Dozo is ready to come in. Here's a Hyper Voice. That brings Palmot to its Sash. And gets a crit on Golden Go. No wonder. Oh, it got a double crit! The Scopla and Sylveon over there? <laughs> uh, Pelipper, take your pick. Who do you want to get rid of? Golden Go? Fine. That's fine. I could actually bring in Tatsugiri and click Dragon Pulse into Pelipper and double shock the Sylveon again. I don't actually have to bring in Dondozo right now. Because Dondozo can't KO both. I would have to risk getting hit by something and I'd have to play the Protect Mind game. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Tatsugiri. I don't mind that at all. There's nothing that can swap into a Dragon Pulse, so I should be able to get a hit on the Pelipper slot. And then if they want to swap Sylveon into their ground type, be my guest. Dragon Pulse. It has to be Dragon Pulse. I don't want to risk missing. And I don't want to use a spread move when they can wide guard. So yeah, that's the way. Sylveon does swap. Okay. I think I think they called correctly. No, they brought in Sableye. I don't care. Pelipper protects. Okay. Sableye's gonna take a chunk from this. I think I think it might be able to live too. Everything else has, why not Sableye? Nope, Sableye is gone! Oh yeah. Perhaps Sylveon is choice and will hit someone with a powerful quick attack. I guess that could happen. I doubt Tatsugiri would go down to a quick attack. But our 1 HP Palmot definitely would. Uh, but then I just Dragon Pulse Pellet. If you take out Palmot, I Dragon Pulse Pelipper. Dondozo comes in and wins the game. If you quick attack and knock out Tatsugiri, you lose Sylveon, and we're fine. Either way. Yeah. Battle's cancelled. Yeah, there would have to been a lot of hacks to bring that game back. Let's go, Palmot! Good sweep! Okay, we are fighting Weezing Galarian form with Slaking. They've also got Garchomp, Volcarona, Gothitelle and Grimmsnarl. This is a very cool team. The one problem with Weezing is, assuming it's neutralizing gas, uh, Commander doesn't work as long as Weezing's on the field. This might be a game for just not Don Dozo then. Golden Go is alright into most things, but not Volcarona. But Talonflame handles Volcarona pretty well. My biggest fear with those two would be like Terra Water Volcarona. Dragonite is a little hard to use. They have two fairies. Though I guess it could clean up in the end game. So maybe Golden Go, Talonflame, Palmot, Dragonite, leave Dondozo at home. Because they're going to want to bring Weezing. They're not going to want to let me get rid of the Weezing. I can actually take advantage of that fact, too. Because they're gonna have Weezing for sure. 
It's also their only chance of having clear smog, or that one might get hazed too. So I could potentially take advantage of the fact that they want to bring Weezing and save it. Because they don't know I didn't bring Dondozo. Hopefully, I can abuse that in some way. But this person is ranked 50th on the ladder. So they know something. Oh, and they don't have a trainer card though. Uh, okay, I'm no longer worried. Okay, I'm really worried. We've got Garchomp Weezing. And there's Neutralizing Gas. I could just throw a Make It Rain. They're probably going to want to protect Weezing, maybe even Earthquake. I could consider getting in Dragonite and burning the Garchomp. But, I'm worried about Terra Steel or Fire on the Garchomp which makes Make It Rain a lot less effective. Though I could revive Golden Go with Palmot later. So maybe I just click Terra Steel Make It Rain and Tailwind for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click buttons and go burn. They are popping a Terra of their own and it's faster than Golden Go, so it's Garchomp. I should have swapped out, I guess. And it was fire, so at least I didn't go for the Will-O-Wisp play. And here's our Terra. They definitely saw this coming. It's definitely a Protect and maybe an Earthquake. Yep, Protect from Weezing. I should have just read this. I could have... I guess I could have gone into Dragonite, but it also could be like a Rock Slide. I'm sure this Make It Rain will do some damage to Garchomp, unless they're like a Salt Vest. Oh, that's actually really good damage to Garchomp. That's not a Salt Vest. Okay, I'll take that. And it was Rock Slide. I'm actually fine with that. I only lose Talonflame. I didn't really need Talonflame. Cool. Now, they could have Slaking, they could have Volcarona. Gothitelle, Grimmsnarl. Volcarona, Gothitelle, Grimmsnarl. Either one of these is fine to bring in. I'm going to bring in Palmot. Ooh, pink Palmot, yay. Because Make It Rain is still fine here at minus one. It should be able to take the Weezing. And if Weezing stays in, they don't have rough skin, so I can freely hit the Garchomp. Make It Rain. Though I could try to read a protect from Garchomp and revive my Talonflame. But I don't think reviving Talonflame gets me much. So I'm just going to click close combat into the Garchomp. They might protect it and swap in like Volcarona. That wouldn't be a bad play here. They don't protect it, they just, they just go down. But at the cost of my Sash. It is Volcarona. Did you protect? No. Okay. I'll trade I'll trade Garchomp for my Sash. Yeah, they, they are rough skin. Okay. Now I wonder if I want my Talon Flame back. And a single target minus one make it rain. I mean this isn't nothing. Yeah, that does a third to Volcarona. You got leftovers? Yeah, you do have leftovers. Okay, I, I am worried about that. It seems like it's a setup moth. I could get Golden Go out now into Dragonite. I think that's pretty safe. They already burned Terra, so actually close combat into Slay King seems safe too. But I want to hit Volcarona. Ha <laughs> ha 
but yeah, if I'm preserving Golden Go, then it makes more sense to try to take out Volcarona. But this could e this could easily be like a Protect Earthquake play or something. Ooh, it's a hard one. I'm gonna close combat the Slay King. I actually think Dragonite can handle Volcarona pretty well. So I'm a little, I'm only slightly more worried about Slay King. And it is a protect from Volcarona. Okay, I, I'm glad I didn't attack into that. I don't expect to KO Slay King. Slay King has a lot of stats. Yeah, it just barely hangs on, man. And double edge into Palmot, take yourself out. Great. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Goodbye. Because now I get my golden go in. Is Tailwind over? I think it should be. I haven't been counting. One, two, three. I should have one more. Yeah, one more turn of Tailwind is awesome. Extreme Speed plus Make It Rain definitely takes out Volcarona. They already burned their Terra. And even a minus one Make It Rain should be able to take out their Weezing. They just protected Volcarona last turn, so they're not safe. I don't have a... No abilities are here either, so I can Extreme Speed freely. I don't have to worry about getting burned. And Extreme Speed is the move I want to lock into. It's stronger on the Volcarona. And if they do land a double protect, I get to go first next turn because I locked into E speed. And definitely make it. Yep, there's the E speed. It's not enough for the Volcarona, but because we have Tailwind, we get to hit it with Golden Go. And make them Golden Gone. Weezing lit. That's gotta be Sash. That was Specs, Terra Steel. Yeah, you're Sash. Sash Weezing. Alright, Weezing. Pull out the craziest move I've ever heard of that can KO a Golden Go and a full health Dragonite. Dazzling thing. Yeah, that's not gonna do either. Doesn't even have the Dragonite. And we are inner focus, not multi scale. Not that it would be turned on right now anyway. Alright, GG. Battle is cancelled. Woo! Let's go, team. Beaten number 50 on the ladder. Here we are versus a Palafin team. They've got Palafin, they also have Rotom Wash, so two water types. And they have a fire type of Incineroar, two grass types of Sinistra and Amoongus, and then a Blood Moon Ursa Luna. So for Dondozo, they have Intimidate, Pivoting, they have potentially Clear Smog Amoongus. Sinistra isn't the easiest thing to handle because it could burn with Macha Gacha. They could burn us with Incineroar or Rotom as well. They do seem to have a Trick Room mode, with Sinistra being the only Trick Room setter. Palmot plus something that can hit Sinistra really hard might be the way. And no Outrage immunities, very importantly. Ooh, I really like Dragonite. I don't think we need Talonflame. Do we have Taunt? No. I don't know if I love Golden Go though. They have a double resist in their Rotom, and a resist in Incin, and a resist in Palafin, and probably a resist in the Sinistra Terra. So actually, I'm wondering if it's Palmot Dragonite. That seems fun. And then bring Dondozo Tatsugiri in the back anyway. I think they're a little prepared for it, but I think I can overwhelm them with Dragonite enough. If Dragonite and Palmot can wear down their answers, I think we're in a good position. The only thing I don't feel well prepared for is... Oh, that's a decent trainer card. I feel like I've seen this person before. Uh, I think the only thing I'm unprepared for is Clear Smog Amoongus. Amoongus is a little scary. But Sinistra Palafin? Sure. Love it. I think I can Outrage pretty freely. It'll hit something. Who knows who. But then with Palmot, Fake Out doesn't seem particularly useful. I guess they have a couple swap-ins 
for Palafin. The, on the only real safe one is like Amoongus. But anything else would take big damage from a close combat. So I think I'm re ready to lock Outrage, and just in case something weak to close combat comes in, I'll close combat the Palafin slot. Yeah, it's definitely swapping. I just think it might be a Moongus, but they, then they have two grass types on the field. Yeah, they have two passive grass types on the field. That's not the biggest deal. I hope you're not Rocky Helmet. That was not good. No Rocky Helmet. That's great. And we delete a Moongus. Fantastic. I love deleting a Moongus. That was probably the biggest threat to our Dondozo. I guess Palafin could also have haze. But we, but, eh, I'm not too worried. Palafin has a pretty bad matchup into like, well it can't really hurt Dondozo on its own. It doesn't have a great matchup into Dragonite. Palmot can hit it. Even Tatsugiri can hit it harder than it can hit Tatsugiri, so. And their last is Ursa Luna. Well, I'm going to Outrage. If you redirect that Outrage, Sinistra might just go down. In which case, I can get a close combat off. If you double... If you like Macha Gacha, plus... You would want to Blood Moon the Dragonite, not the Palmot. So I think clicking close combat into Ursa Luna is fine. I guess Rage Powder and Oko my Dragonite would be the only thing that scares me there. But I can't do anything else with Dragonite. They have Moonblast! We eat that, which is beautiful. No Rage Powder, it's probably a Macha Gacha then. It's a Shadow Ball into Dragonite, wow. And that does KO, that's fine. Well then, have a close combat. Good damage into Ursa Luna. Now the play is definitely bringing in Don Dozo and starting to stall out their trick room. The question is, do I think they will Hyper Voice and Macha Gacha knocking out Palmot, or do I think I have a chance to Revival Blessing the Dragonite? I feel like the protect from Dondozo is actually pretty obvious. But I'm gonna protect Dondozo and try to revive Dragonite. If, if they double target into Palma, I guess it's not the end of the world. Because they have, they saved their Blood Moon. So I think they might be tempted to Blood Moon into Dondozo here. The Terra Normal could mean anything. It could mean Hyper Voice, it could mean Blood Moon, it could be it could just mean they want to not be weak to water right now. Though they're low enough health that shouldn't matter. Oh, it was Hyper Voice. And it should be Macha Gacha too, so unless we dodge Macha Gacha, we lose Paul. All right, Palmot, time for you to dodge. It's only a 90 accuracy move. All right, you didn't dodge it, that's fine. I don't like how long they've saved their Blood Moon. They're gonna get a Blood Moon into us here. In exchange, We've got to take out Ursa Luna. We're definitely going to Terra Grass to take less damage from Macha Gacha if they choose to go for that. If they go for a Rage Powder, there's only two turns of Trick Room left, so that shouldn't matter. So it's fine to either order up Ursa Luna or Earthquake. Actually, if we take out Ursa Luna now, they'll get Palafin in under Trick Room. 
and I want to get a hit off on it outside of Trick Room. So actually, I want to Terra Grass order up into Sinistra. Not gonna lie, this isn't a great position. Blood Moon can do a ton of damage, but they seem to be like some sort of assault vest set, maybe? So I don't anticipate it Oko's. And then we can Protect Stall the last turn of Trick Room. Alright, how much does this Blood Moon do? So much damage, wow. That hurt. Can we dodge, please? Alright. If we get burned here, we're in a lot of trouble. We do not get burned here. Beautiful. And we do a little less than half the six. Now, this is the last turn of Trick Room. I, it's pretty obvious that I need to protect. That would give Sinistra a chance to like heal. I don't love that, but I don't have much other play. Because a double up will take us out from here with, from like Shadow Ball, Hyper Voice. So I have no choice but to protect. When you're playing Dondozo, sometimes that's how it is. You just, the right play is to protect a lot. I do think they can read that they're unprotecting here. They know I have protect. The Blood Moon did so much damage. I should have I should have read the last turn. Oh, they're getting Sinistra off the field. Oh, I love that. I actually love that. I wanted to hit Palafin. And it's speed fell. Oh, oh, they're they're running a palafin. And they click Earth Power and fail it. Oh, they did that on purpose, huh? Okay. Yeah, they clicked Earth Power into my Tatsugiri just as a flex. Just a, I know what you're doing. Okay, yeah, they have room service palafin. That's hilarious. Uh, but that means their speed is down, and Trick Room just ended, which is not great timing for them. Now my play is to Earthquake. Earthquake would take out Ursaluna. Probably even if they go back to Sinistra. But I, and I, it'll get damage on the Palafin. The Palafin probably has eight. And I don't think I can Oko it, so this is my best play. All right, they just leave both in, that's great. Love taking out Ursaluna here. Love doing half damage to Palafin. All right, you're allowed to haze me now. I accept it. I think Dondozo might have done enough to get us through. Yeah, now the question is just stalling out the rest of their trick room if they try to set another one. And who do I need to hit? I need to chip down Sinistra. If the Sinistra... Well, if the Sinistra just decides to keep itself healthy for the Tatsugiri, that could be bad. We don't have much damage on Palafin now. Uh, we have Draco, Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Icy. I'm thinking Order Up into Sinistra. I think if we can get rid of Sinistra right away with the clicked Wave Crash into Tatsugiri. Was, was that a misclick? Or was that intentional? Okay, Shadow Ball was enough to KO our Dondozo, but... I guess they didn't want to take any recoil, and so they did that. They're not choice. That's weird. Alright, in this case, the play is we have to knock out Sinistra. And with our special attack of... Max special attack! Does Dragon Pulse do it? I doubt it. I think we need to Draco Meteor Sinistra right here. And then we'll be locked into Draco, but hopefully Draco can take out Palafin before Palafin can knock us out. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. We connect the first Draco into Sinistra. I don't think Dragon Pulse would have done it, so we had to get Draco there. Palafin's best move should be Wave Crash, which gives it some recoil. 
Ooh, that does so much damage, though. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, let's see what half a Draco Meteor does to this Palafin. And because we're Scarf and they're minus one speed... Okay, they're gonna start jet punching. They don't, they don't want the recoil. Looks like two more Dracos will do it, but a wave crash into a jet punch probably takes us. Let's see if they call that. And let's see if we hit all of these. Jet punch, 64 to 37. We can take another jet punch. Oh, if we connect one more Draco, we got this. Come on, Tatsu, you got this. It's down to this. Yeah! Yeah, critical hit! We didn't need! Let's go! Let's go, Tatsugiri! Woo! Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Down to the wire. GG. Dondozo v Dondozo. They also have Palmot, Golden Go, Dragonite. The only difference is Talonflame versus Murkrow. And that's awful for me. Because Murkrow has a great matchup into Dondozo because of Haze. What do I think their lead would be? Because whatever I think a good lead is, that's what they think a good lead is. Their Murkrow is less likely to be Covert Cloak. So a fake out lead might work. This Golden Go is max speed modest. This Dragonite has no has one speed. Four EVs in speed. I don't want to bring Dondozo, but I think I have to to answer their Dondozo. I think I need to Palmot, Golden Go, Dondozo, Tatsugiri. Because my best answer to their Dondozo is my unaware Dondozo. I don't really have a good answer other than burning it with Will-O-Wisp. Not matching Tailwind seems bad. I'm gonna match Tailwind, Golden Go, Palmot, Dragonite. I'm not gonna bring Dondozo at this time. I don't know if that's the right call. Th this mirror match is just so awkward for me. I've never played Dondozo v Dondozo like this before. Decent card. Now watch neither of us bring Dondozo and we're all so worried about it. Ah, oh, what do you know? Tailwind make it rain. Beautiful. They might click Shadow Ball. I can get my Tailwind here if I want it. Or I could just click Flare Blitz. Am I adamant? I am. That might be enough to take Golden Go. Flare Blitz. Terra Steel defensively and then click Make It Rain anyway. Just in case Golden Go lives on one or takes out my talent flame. I don't hate that. Now this could be a pro- oh no, they're gonna be faster with their golden go. Well, they're probably setting tailwind anyway. Or it was a speed tie. Yeah, they're terra steel. That's perfect. That's exactly what I expected. That's why I went for player blitz. The problem is if talent flame like goes down. They could have locked a move just targeting Talonflame. I do think they would want to Shadow Ball my Golden Go, but if they don't, and they also have like Power Gem or Thunderbolt, Talonflame could just be deleted before it gets to move. Murkrow protects. That's excellent. That means I get Flare Blitz. And Golden Go just goes down. I don't lose my special attack at all. And we take a KO. Beautiful. Matching Tailwind is going to be a struggle, though. Because we no longer have Gale Wings, but they still keep Prankster. We both wasted Terra, but I still have my Golden, though, so I didn't really waste it. And they brought Pama. Yep, nobody... <laughs> nobody brought the Dondo, though. I would anticipate that they want to close combat my Golden Go. 
meaning Dragonite is a pretty safe swap. If I get it wrong and they double shot, they lose their electric type and they can only do that once. So I'm gonna try to match Tailwind. And I'm gonna get out into Dragonite. If they don't let me match Tailwind, fine. But if I do match Tailwind, Talonflame should be the fastest thing next turn. Yeah, they put up Tailwind. Show me a close combat into Dragonite. Though I wouldn't be too mad if I lose Talonflame. Yeah, got it right. That does basically nothing. Double Shock would do double that, but that doesn't KO either. Beautiful. This means their last is their own Dragonite. Which would struggle a little bit against Golden Go. Keep Golden Go alive. Palmot probably doesn't have Protect, so I could double that with Extreme Speed and Brave Bird. I think I will. Yeah, that's my play. Palmont goes down to Sash with Extreme Speed. That did a lot of damage, but it's because of the close combat lowering its defense. And a Brave Bird. Beautiful. Critical hit on 1 HP. Good job, Talonflame. I knew you could do it. And foul play will, is going to do a chunk to Dragonite here. Yeah, that's what they're going for. Big chunk, but we're not gone. However, we're probably slower than their Dragonite. But forcing them to lock extreme speed is fantastic anyway. I'm going to click Will-O-Wisp into their Dragonite. I don't really see a need to swap out. Uh, they could extreme speed my Talon Flame to block the Will O' Wisp, but I think that's fine. But I'm gonna want to hit their Murkrow. Battles just canceled. They understand. I have way too much of a lead. Let's go! Woo! And we are back. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I told you this does wasn't a Don Dozo video. This was a Palmot video, and Palmot popped off. Palmot was so good. I'm surprised we haven't been using this thing before. Like now that Iron Hands is gone, this is the electric fighting type. I might try to use it on other styles of team as well. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out the creator of this team, I'll leave a link in the description along with the Pokey Paste, where, which is always there. Uh, but anyways, try this out if you want to, or don't try it out if you really don't like being a Don Dozo. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, Alright, peace.